which are equal in measurements. I read here names and measurements of the angles. Measurement angle A B C is equal to the 35 degree. Measurement angle M I T is equal to the 90 degree. Measurement angle P T Q is equal to the 100 degree. Now next measurement angle S P M is equal to the 35 degree. Measurement angle R T S is equal to the 100 degree. And last measurement angle S R I is equal to the 90 degree. Now I write names of the angles which are equal in measurement. Here measurement angle A B C is equal to the 35 degree. Then among these figures measurement angle S P M is also 35 degree. So I write here measurement angle A B C equal to the measurement angle S P M. Next measurement angle M I T is equal to the 90 degree. Measurement angle M I T is equal to the 90 degree. Then among these figures measurement angle S R I is also 90 degree. So here measurement angle M I T equal to the measurement angle S R I. Measurement angle S R I. Now last measurement angle P T Q is equal to the 100 degree. Now among these figures measurement angle R T S also equal to the 100 degrees. So here measurement angle P T Q is equal to the measurement angle R T S. Now see these figures. Measurement angle L M L is equal to the 90 degree. Measurement angle X Y Z is also equal to the 90 degree. Now take this angle. L M L which is equal to the 90 degree. Then take this another angle X Y Z which is also equal to the 90 degree. Then place these two angles one upon the other. They are exactly coincide to each other. That means they are congruent angles. Congruency of angles does not depend upon place of its sides. It depends upon only its measures. So angle L M N is congruent to angle X Y Z. Here we say that two angles with equal measures are congruent to each other. Note that angle L M L congruent angle X Y Z then angle X Y Z also congruent angle L M L. Angle X Y Z also congruent angle L M L. Now see this third figure. Angle A, B, C equal to the 90 degree. Then all these three angles are equal in measurements. So here we say that if angle L, M, L, congruent angle X, Y, Z, angle X, Y, Z, congruent angle A, B, C, then angle L, M, L, congruent angle A, B, C. In other words, we say that if first angle is congruent to the another angle, another angle is congruent to the third angle, then third angle is congruent to the first angle. Here we complete our topic congruence of angles.
angles. 